let us study the green chemistry the excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides have resulted in deterioration of soil water and air to prevent this problem new methods are to be discovered but not by stopping the process of development green chemistry is a way of thinking and is about utilizing the existing knowledge and principles of chemistry and other sciences to reduce the adverse impact on environment green chemistry is a production process which would bring about minimum pollution or deterioration to the environment the byproducts generated during a process if not used properly add to environmental pollution in a chemical reaction if the reactants are converted to useful environmental friendly products by using an environment friendly medium then there would be no chemical pollutants introduced in the environment let us talk about green chemistry in day to day life let us study about dry cleaning of clothes replacement of halogenated solvent tetrachloroethane that is cl2c double bond ccl2 by liquid co2 will result in less harm to ground water these days hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 is used for the process of laundry which gives better results and makes use of lesser amount of water now we start bleaching of paper chlorine gas was earlier used for bleaching paper these days hydrogen peroxide with suitable catalyst which improves the bleaching action of h2o2 is used now we start synthesis of chemicals ethanol ch3 cho is commercially prepared by oxidation of ethene in the presence of ionic catalyst in aqueous medium with an yield of 90% the reaction is ch2 double bond ch2 plus o2 in presence of catalyst gives ch3 cho with an yield of 90% green chemistry is a cost effective approach which involves reduction in material energy consumption and waste generation